Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Lakia and in this video I'm going to be showing y'all how to do these paper plate lollipops. So I'm going to start off with the materials that you're going to need. So I have this red acrylic paint from Dollar Tree. I have this red ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby for $2. Then you're going to need some tape and some adhesive dots that I got both from Dollar Tree. But instead of using these two, if you do have a glue gun, you can use that one. I prefer to use that one. Then the next thing you're going to need is your paper plates. I got these from Dollar Tree as well. And you're going to need two of them. You're going to need a paintbrush, a pair of scissors. Then the next thing you're going to need is cellophane, if I'm saying that right. I could not find any, so I got these basket bags from Dollar Tree. Then the next thing you're going to need is some wooden dowels. These here that I have are the round ones that I got from Walmart for $2, but you can use any size that you want. And that is all that you're going to need, so let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is take two paper plates face down where the back of it is facing you. We're going to take a pair of scissors and a wooden dowel and what we're going to do is measure the at the bottom of the paper plate where we're going to cut. You're going to cut enough where the stick is able to slide in both of the paper plates. And what I did is I cut, I measured and I cut on one paper plate and then I just put both of them together and just scored both of them like you see me doing here. Then you're going to take your red acrylic paint and your brush and we're going to get ready to paint the peppermint swirls. Now the first thing I recommend you do is paint a small dot in the middle of the paper plate. This is going to help you make those gorgeous swirls. As you see me doing here, you're just going to make a thick line. Kind of arch it if you can. And what you're going to do is do three of these thick swirls. If you need to, you can actually look at a picture of a peppermint or have an actual peppermint to, to use as a reference. What we're going to do is do three thick lines and three thin lines, just like you see on a peppermint. I am not the crafty mother. <laughs> this is not going to look perfect. It's just something fun for you guys to do with your kids. So after you painted all of your swirls, you're going to set these out to dry. Alright, so now that they're completely dry, the next thing that we're going to do is flip these bad boys over and we're going to take those adhesive dots and we're going to take three of them on one paper plate and we're just going to stick them in three different spots. Now this is the point where if you do have a glue gun, you can just use glue from the glue gun and just go around the border of the paper plate on one paper plate and just stick them together that way. But I do not own one, so this is another option. And then once you have done that, go ahead and flip one the other one over and place them together. But make sure that the opening to the wooden dowel is, both of them are aligned. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to attach the dowel to the paper plates and what you want to do here is use your glue gun. I prefer you use the glue gun the way I'm doing it. The way I'm doing it is with the tape and what I'm doing is just sticking the top top of the tape at the, at the base of the plate and then I'm just going around the stick on both sides. I use two pieces of tape on one side and I'll flip it over and put two more pieces of tape as you guys can see me doing here. It looks a little complicated so I'm hoping y'all can follow along 
but like I said it's best to use a glue gun now the next thing you're going to need is your cellophane and like I said I don't have any so I'm using a basket bag from Dollar Tree and you're going to need some ribbon and your scissors so this is a basket bag so it's way too big so what I do is I take the scissors and I'll cut in the middle of the bag that way it doesn't it's not so big then once you've done that just open it up and stick your lollipop in the middle of the bag and then just wrap the bag around the stick this part is a lot easier if you had a cellophane but since I didn't have any I was having a little trouble the very last thing you're going to do is add your ribbon and tie it in a bow and that is it y'all that is my peppermint paper plate lollipop i hope y'all enjoyed this video and if you have done this before let me know in the comments below like i said it's not perfect but it's just something really really cute and fun to do with your kids this holiday season and as you can see i did another one that i messed up on i actually didn't wait for it to dry completely <laughs> i hope y'all enjoyed this video give you a thumbs up and i will talk to y'all tomorrow for the next vlogmas video bye y'all